Got another exam question for the practical skills topic. So this one's an organic one, synthesis of an organic liquid. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the first thing I'll do is calculate the mass of hexane one all needed, and then I'll go into the procedure to obtain the pure hex one in from the uh, mixture after reflux. So we know that we want to prepare 4.2 grams of hex one in, so we'll work out the moles, mass over MR, 0.05. And then to work out the moles of hex and one all needed, remember it's not a 100% yield this, so we're gonna need more moles than that. So we divide by the yield and multiply by 100, and that'll scale it up to what we're gonna need, and that comes out at 0.08 moles. And then to convert the grams, we just multiply by the MR, and we get 8.16. So moving on to the procedure now to obtain the pure hex one in from the mixture. So I've highlighted the key line here. So after reflux, the resulting mixture contains unreacted hex and one all, hex one in and water. And obviously we want to just isolate that there. So we try and think about what that's gonna look like. We've got hex one in, it's got a density of 0.67 grams per cubic centimeter. Hex and one all, 0.82 grams per cubic centimetre. And obviously water's in there and that's got a, a density of one gram per cubic centimetre. So water's got the higher density, it's going to be that lower layer. So that means these two organic substances, the hex one in and the hex and one all, must be in this layer here. So we'll just call that the organic layer. So obviously the next thing we need to do is separate the organic layer from the aqueous layer, the water, and we use a separating funnel to do that. So there's my little sketch of the separating funnel. So you've got your water layer and then your two organic chemicals in this top layer. You'd wait for those to settle and then you would obviously get rid of this lower layer. So it's gonna look like this now. So we need to collect the organic layer. So there's the organic layer on its own. Now there's very likely gonna be some small traces of water in here as well. So we need to add a drying agent to remove that. Now it's always a good idea to quote an example of a drying agent and the one I always use is anhydrous calcium chloride. So we're gonna to need to filter this now to obviously get rid of that solid. Remember there's two organic chemicals in here. There's hex one in and hex and one all. They've got different boiling points the hex one in the substance we're trying to make is has got the lowest boiling point 63 degrees c so we're going to redistill this mixture and collect the fraction that boils off at 63 degrees c so moving on to the last part of the question there's the equation that's already been given so the dehydration of hex and one all will make um, hex one in and water Hex and 2 all also gives hex one in as a product because we've got um, an adjacent hydrogen here that we can remove as well as the OH group and put a double bond there. However, we've got adjacent hydrogens here as well. So we can also make hex 2 in. So as a result of that, our yield is going to be lower.